Hi welcome, today I am going to explain about the film, straight up. Spoilers ahead watch out fully. Todd, a 20-something man from Los Angeles with OCD, has a significant allergy to bodily fluids, which makes romantic relationships difficult for him. He likes the men he dates, but he has never had penetrative intercourse with them, save from an attempt at oral sex. He eventually chooses to try dating women and attempts to hook up with a female after getting intoxicated with her, but freaked out when her hymen ruptures. Todd's psychoanalyst questions whether this sexual exploration is a smart idea, but he fears being alone and chooses to keep trying. Todd's friends are against his connection with Rory because they see it as an expression of Todd's internalized homophobia, and they regularly question the validity of their relationship. Rory decides to pursue a love connection with him, but sex is not an option. When Todd introduces Rory to his parents, he is concerned that they would like him more now that he is dating a woman. Rory walks in on Todd in an uncomfortable situation with his gay friend at an unpleasant Christmas party with Todd's buddies, where they play truth or dare. Rory becomes increasingly dissatisfied with her life in Los Angeles and decides to go to Seattle. During their breakup, Rory mentions that she might desire children, they had previously agreed that neither of them wanted children, and Todd had a panic attack. Rory now has a stable office job in Seattle, but she still struggles to connect with her co-workers. Todd has refused to date anyone since Rory's departure. Rory's co-worker expresses interest in her, but she realizes they are too unlike. She dials Todd's number but hangs up before he can answer. She finds Todd waiting for her when she leaves work at the end of the day. Todd proposes in an attempt to make a great romantic gesture, but Rory declines. Todd makes an emotional plea to her, telling her how much he loves her and how he does not want to be with anyone else. Todd and Rory play a board game together at the end of the film. As they converse, another man comes down between them, and the intimacy between the three leaves the finale open to interpretation by the spectator. Thanks for watching this awesome recap. Subscribe for regular movie updates.